who's my favorite ex? Because how do I buy luxury? Who do I go out of town with? <laughs> she wants that go get it. Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelly Marie back again with another video and today's video is something new something that I never pretty much did on my channel I don't think I did if I'm not mistaken, but today we're gonna be answering juicy questions as you guys see in that title um, I'm gonna be spilling the tea giving you a little bit of insight on my life Like I never really like open up and let you guys get to know me. It's basically juicy questions about myself um questions that y'all probably want to know like simple questions as well and then i'm probably gonna add i have my notes right here i'm probably gonna add like a like q a questions too if you guys are interested in more about my life and want to know if i'm single or not <laughs> no i'm just playing but do not forget to like comment and subscribe and stick around we're gonna get into this seafood so today we have um where is this from the boiler uh, we have the boiler and Buckhead. This is in Atlanta, like Buckhead area. Um, their sauce is different. It's not nasty. It's just different. Like they have a different taste in their sauce. So sometimes I get it on the side just in case I'm not feeling that vibe. And then this is garlic butter on the side as well. And then I literally just got my seafood plain. Um, I wonder if you guys can see it. Oh, I'm hot in here. I like the boiler crab legs because they literally give you snow crab legs and not dungeness crab legs where snow crab legs is long. I'm like a seafood lover, love seafood, love crab legs, love lobster. I love everything about seafood, you know? Everything. So let me open up these sauces first. I feel like I need some paper towels because this looks like I'm about to make a fucking mess. I probably need to melt some. I probably need to melt some butter because it's given. I still need more butter. <laughs> I love butter, y'all. That's like my downfall. Like seafood is just so freaking good with butter. It just make everything ten times better. <coughs> okay. So first question. Real simple. We're gonna start it off. How tall am I? I'm five seven. Um, a lot of people ask me that on my Instagram, like a lot of guys, they want to know how tall I am. I think my inst Instagram pictures look average, like I probably look like I'm 5'6 online. I don't know, y'all tell me, like how tall do I look on Instagram? But I'm 5'7, I'm the same height as Beyonce, Beyonce is 5'7, period. Um, I love my height, I don't think nothing's wrong with it. I'm like... I feel like I'm not that that tall, but I do feel like I'm tall sometimes when I hang around like my small friends. <laughs> That's like really short. Yo, it's crazy because corn be the best part. And seafood boils. Well, besides the crab legs, corn be the best part. I do wish I was probably like 5'5 five, five, and then I'd be like my height with heels on. Or 5'4 and then my height with heels on. I think that's like the perfect height. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm 5'7 for the guys who want to know. So I guess I'm just going to jump right in there. The next question I got is, who's my favorite ex? <laughs> I don't know who asked me this question, but why? Um, Who's my favorite ex? Um, Who is my favorite ex? I never thought about that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I know who's my favorite ex. Um, it's this one guy we used to date when I was like young. Well, I wasn't that young, but he just like loved me genuinely, like loved me so much. But he just was crazy. <laughs> His ass was crazy as hell. But yeah, so we dated like high schoolish. So. If you was my friend in high school or if you kept up with me in high school, like Facebook, shit like that, then you already know who I'm talking about. But yeah, that's my favorite ex. High school days. Um, yeah. That's my favorite ex. That's my favorite ex. I don't think we ever ended. We wouldn't end on like bad terms or nothing like that. So I guess that's probably why that's my favorite ex. Like he's, I could probably like still 
get in contact with him right now and then everything would just be cool probably but um the next question i have here is how do i buy luxury these are some weird questions like why do y'all want to know that <laughs> but how do i buy luxury because i go to work literally and i know how to save my money like i know how to save like literally i probably save like almost 80 percent of my money I, my dad taught me how to save when I was little. I'm just like a good saver. Like, if I don't have to do something, if it's not necessary, then I probably won't do it. Like, I don't spend all my money on food. I normally go to the grocery store. Like, I don't go out to eat as often. Um, I just budget my money. I know what to spend my money on. And then I have a goal every month of what I want to save. And I always hit that goal. Like, I'm a great saver. Um, that's pretty much how I buy luxury, literally. If it's something that I really, really want, I'm like, cool. Um, let me save up for it. Let me get it. I'm not like a real impulse thinker, like an impulse buyer. Like, even if I see something in the store, I'll go to sleep on it, come back the next day and grab it. Like, I never buy stuff at that moment. Unless it's, like, cheap, you know? Like, luxury stuff that you can't beat, that you can't beat that's, like, real cheap. But other than that, like, I plan for my shit or I think on it, like, hey, is this a smart move? Do I got it? Should I get this? Is this a good investment? Stuff like that. But honestly, I just saved my money. Um. Oh, so the next question I have here is what's my favorite vacation spot? Um, I say Jamaica, even though I'm over Jamaica because I went there so many times. I just feel like they treat you so good in Jamaica. Like you have a butler somebody that bring you whatever you need they just treat you like royalty there because obviously like they're a lower country or something like that like they don't have that much as much money as the u.s people i guess i don't know but they work for tips and they like really really work for their tips and i just fuck with it i like jamaica and there's a lot of things to do there it's pretty much all the same like what you do in every country but it's just lit <sighs> bruh this food is so good like Mm -hmm. it's probably only this good right now because I'm talking and eating and I really just want to <laughs> I really just want to eat everything so it's corn in here crab legs sausages eggs shrimp yeah that's pretty much it what kind of guys do I like um, I don't know. That's hard. Only thing I can tell y'all is that I don't like light skin. It's nothing but a light skin that I like. Like, nothing. Like, I don't know. They be, like, licking their lips and shit. Like, it be looking like... <laughs> like, they think you prettier. They prettier than you. Like, excuse me? Nah, I'm good on that. It's, like, nothing about a light skin. A light skin can't say shit to me. Like, I don't care if you got... A billion dollars but i just don't like light skins like period but what type of guys i like i just like a guy that can like business minded and he knows like he's nice like he knows when to cut off his like street mentality to be with his girl like he's real soft with his girl and then like hard out there if that's how he gotta be like whatever and um i just need a guy that know how to move like in all settings like you just can't be too ghetto like Damn, like, what if I wanted to take you to, like, the Hiltons or something? Like, just know how to act accordingly. Don't be having your pants sagging, shit like that. Like, I, and then I, like, business minded niggas now because that's what I'm into right now. So, it's like, let's have something to talk about. Like, teach me some stuff right now. Like, I'm, I'm like, such a listener right now. Like, I'm in a level of my life where... I'm listening, I'm learning, I listen to podcasts, I read books now, just to like find my path in the future. Like I just want to have a successful life and live good and hopefully my partner is on the same vibe as me. So that's kind of what I'm into right now. Um, I don't like too much of a square. I wouldn't mind talking to somebody with a nine to five, like at all, but I don't like too much of a square. You got to have some like, um, thing you like half and half you know you gotta be like with the shits just a little bit but not overly too ghetto because i'll just be like ew 
You know, that's my type of guy. I don't know if that actually, <laughs> if all of that can be in one person because I haven't found them yet. Like I've been waiting <laughs> to find the perfect guy, but I'm not looking. Okay, so let me just tell y'all, the next question is, am I single? Yes, I'm single, I'm 100% single. I don't talk to nobody right now um, as of 2000, 2022. This stuff is like making my nose out of drip. As of 2022, I don't talk to anybody right now, like totally single. Like I told you guys, like my mind is so focused on my future and like what I need to do for my future that I really don't care that I'm not talking to nobody right now. Yeah, it's like boring a little bit, but at the end of the day, I'm not searching for nobody. I never was a type to search for somebody. And then I don't really open up my DMs like that. So it's like, how am I ever going to find somebody? <laughs> but that's the thing. I don't want to find anybody. They have to find me. Okay, so the next question we have here, I got to eat a crab leg for this. <laughs> but nah, um, the next question is, do I want kids? And yes, I want kids. I feel like almost every girl want kids. Um, I just wanted to be with the right person because a lot of people have like childhood, um, like old stories that affect their future. And I don't want my kids to be brought up that way. I want my kids to pretty much have like, you know, live with their father and mother as long as possible. It's okay to get a divorce because um, I feel like my parents got a divorce and I'm, I still came up the right way. So I don't think that really affects children. No, it do, but it don't affect them. If you do it right, if the divorce is right, like it probably won't affect them that much. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. But basically, I just wanna make sure it's the right person, child. I don't got time to be dealing with no baby mother, baby father nonsense. Like that's just not me. Like I wanna be with the person I have a child with, but if not, like I understand shit happens, like people move apart, but I still want the father to be like a great father, even if we end up not together. So I just want to choose, choose the right, right guy to have a baby with. I just want my child to be safe, like rather I'm there or not, like rather me or the father don't break up. Like I want them to know, I want to feel in my heart, like, okay, they're safe without me. Like when they go to their father house, he would never like have her in harm's way, period. Um, I say her like I'm having a girl, but I really don't care to have a girl or a boy. Like, it really doesn't matter to me. I used to always want a girl, a little girl. I feel like a little girl would be so cute, but I like little boys too. Uh, after doing therapy with like little kids and our center like pretty much only had boys and they like love their mom, they love women. So like, it's just so cute. I wouldn't mind having um, a little boy. So the next juicy question, let's see. Ooh, this is the question that everybody know, wants to know, okay? Uh, did you get a BBL um, or ass shots? Did you get a BBL or ass shots? So let's just say this, I never ever got ass shots. <laughs> never ever in my life. Um, I know a lot of people that did, so it's not like a bad thing, I'm not judging them. Um, I got a BBL almost, was it four years ago or five years ago? I believe it was five years ago I got a Yeah, it was five years ago I got a BBL. That's crazy. Or four. I don't know. If you guys want more information about like the BBL topic, I'll let you guys know. Um, it's really no secret. So you could just DM me or leave a question down below. If you have guys have a question regarding like BBLs or something like that. Um, if you're wondering if you should get shots or a BBL, I feel like you should definitely get a BBL because once you get shots, it's like over for you. You can never get like fat transfer into your, well you can if you go to Columbia, if you do it the right way, I don't know. Whatever, but me, BBL, no shots. Um. Oh my God, these questions is like getting crazier and crazier. Like, I'm kind of scared to answer this. How often do you have sex? <laughs> Excuse me? That's like personal, personal. Like, who wants to know this? And who asked me this question? Who? Mm, not a lot. Probably once a month. <laughs> um, Yeah, maybe once a month. <laughs> 
Y'all talking about for right now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say. Moving on to the next topic. Um Am I gonna make a OnlyFans? Probably not. Um, I feel like if you was gonna make a OnlyFans, you had to do it right at the beginning when the wave was like super, super high. And then I'm not like a sexual content type of person. Like, I don't know. I just never, I don't really like that. So like, if it was a way I could make money off that by like selling you guys like a business or something like that, I could possibly make OnlyFans. But me like showing my body parts and stuff like that, I would never ever do that. So you don't have to even think about worrying or looking for OnlyFans for me because I wouldn't do that. I just had to change my memory card. So if the setting is a little different, it's because I had to change my memory card. Um, and my battery about to die, so I literally have to hurry up. Okay, so the next question, when is my birthday? My birthday is 9.30. I am a Libra. Uh, Libra gang. I respect all Libras, you know. I fuck with all Libras, period. September 30th. Um... Oh, the next question was, what was my sign? It's a Libra. Mm. So these are more like questions like, how do I like Atlanta? Atlanta's cool. I feel like there's definitely room to grow in Atlanta. Um, I like it better than Buffalo because it's just like more ways to make money more more things to learn more thing more ways to grow there's so many different people here that live in Atlanta. Wow. mostly everybody that i met moved here um yeah i haven't met that many people that actually live in Atlanta. i probably met like four or five people so far but everybody else is like people from all over so you definitely like have a variety of people you just learn and meet new people so i had to heat up some butter because it was getting cold so i had to heat up the garlic butter i made some real butter <laughs> in a sauce like I don't play when it comes to my sauce child like I don't play normally I get it on it but this sauce is so rich that I don't like when they put it on there all the time because sometimes I would want to just eat it with butter you know but I only got two questions left because I feel like I'm I don't want to make this video too long I only got two questions um who do I go out of town with? <laughs> that question is so funny. Like, yo, I really want to know who's asking this. <laughs> Who do I go out of town with when I be going out of town? Um, basically, like, a <laughs> uh, literally the guy that I'm talking to at the time. Literally, like anybody that I went out of town with is somebody that I've already been talking to for a long time like literally i never went out of town on no spontaneous shit with just like a random new nigga like i never went out of town with a random new nigga it looked like that but um i literally be out of town with like people that i'm already talking to or already dealing with that is so funny <laughs> y'all are so freaking nosy like that's crazy but I guess that is a good question, though. It, but it just be like, what's somebody I'm either dealing with? I just don't be wanting to show them on my channel. That's all. Um, Was I spoiled growing up? This is the last question. Was I spoiled? I was spoiled by my dad growing up. I wouldn't say so much by my mom as much. But by my dad, I was definitely spoiled. Um, I was his youngest. As I was his youngest girl when I was growing up. So, like... You know how dads are. They just want to spoil their baby girl. So I guess that's how I was. Um, and then, oh, let me just add this. What's my favorite food? Last question, my favorite food <laughs> is seafood. It's crab legs, obviously, and I'm eating them now. This seafood boy was actually really good. It might not look that good, but this shit was hitting, busting with all my sauces, you know? I like everything I eat super saucy, super juicy. But that is it for this video. If you guys want a part two, um, you guys can ask me more questions down below in the comment section. You can go on my Instagram and ask me more questions. You can DM me. I will be above and I will do a part two if you guys get this video to 200 likes. I would definitely do a part two to this video. 
that's only if y'all want it so do not forget to like comment and subscribe thank y'all so much for watching this video all the way to the end um i'm gonna continue to eat my food and then i'm gonna go to work so peace out